through support and care services for caregivers and also through research. So we work closely with individuals, great individuals like Dr. Surzai and Bill Lindell and other uh, major universities to find a cure to eradicate Alzheimer's disease. So uh, what we basically do, we do have a, a booth in the back to buy to what we have to offer. We don't charge for our services. We're here to help families in case management counseling. We have a 24 hour seven day day we have a telephone you can call. Uh, we have a program for people who wander down to dementia. So a good variety of services that we have to offer. We're very close to the county agents by the office of aging. Thank you, panel. What we're going to do, we're going to have about 10 minutes of questions, and then we're going to excuse the panelists to go back to their tables and so you can have some individual time with our panelists. So for the for the panel, anyone have a question for Dr. Shazai, Ashley, Mary, Mary Lou? Or Sergio, let me run it back there too. Hold on a second. Dr. Shazai, you're, you're talking very fast. A lot of information was imparted. Can you put it on the web somewhere? Sorry? Can you put it up on the web? We will, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, the website that we have is called lindamemory.org. Uh, we'll have this and much more information, and we'll have little Uh, they were able to come back to close to normal. Uh, 
Uh, sadly, they also had some underlying degenerative process, which meant that the depression just made the underlying degenerative process worse. It wasn't the only cause. So, so you, that's what you have to figure out. It's the cause, the only cause, and if you treat it in the depression, the dementia will go away. Or if it's, it's just the fact that it is exacerbated and underlying Alzheimer's or some other type of depression. But even in that case, the person will improve. Thank you. 
of you know that 60% of the time, the caregiver is the one who passes away. The caregiver who is taking care of someone with dementia or some kind of catastrophic illness. And um, my mother had back surgery, and although it was a hard decision to make, as Sergio said, you have to think about the family too. Because you cannot be a good caregiver. It's kind of like at the airplane. I think of it over and over again when they say, make sure you put the oxygen mask on yourself first before you try to help someone else. And furthermore, there are different levels of skilled mental nursing facilities out there, and she may not have a need skilled nursing facility or your parents. They may need assistive living because they're very active. They may not do well in a skilled nursing facility. They may actually decline. And there are a lot of facilities out there that are so beautiful and well-attuned for those behavioral problems you mentioned. And quite honestly, here my mom had just turned 75 two weeks ago. She's still with us because she knew that choice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 